What's good with y'all boys, man? Today we finna get into a nice little sniper session, man. I don't know what the prices is talking about, but we are gonna go ahead and hop into the prices. I'm gonna hop into my favorite filter, 92 to 93s. I don't think the, ooh, prices did drop on me. So you feel me? Everything dropped a little bit, which is solid. We seen some cars at 80,000. I wonder if it's a buyer's or seller's market, but we are gonna find out. Man. And I'm gonna flip through program by program if it's possible. 93s have dipped to 80,000. Wow. Y'all could do the same thing, man. If y'all trying to figure out prices, just go ahead and check, man. The cheapest 90 is like 80, 84. So let's see. Let's go. I'm going to look at Derek Thomas. So we're looking at maybe like an 86. So I'm probably thinking like 90s. 90s is like a probably a very solid price. So we're talking about maybe like a 10%. A 10% tax on that is going to be like 8 to 9K every single time. So we got to just keep that in mind as we flip through these cars and try to find us some nice little buys. I'm thinking that we're looking for, let's see, I'm looking for 60s. 60s will be about 10K for the 92s. And we just finna go a little bit crazy. Let's see. This is a... Is that is, is is that a good buy, bro? Or am I tripping? Let's go ahead and check his price real quick. We got to check prices. We got to make sure everything's straight. So we can't really do nothing with this. So we're looking at these for about 80 for, from, from what it looks like. Anything 80. Car prices drop, which is good. I mean, y'all can upgrade your team. You know what I'm saying? It's about right. It's about time that y'all can have, you know, a solid team. So we might have to go through a process and upgrade in a little bit. I'm not going to look at the Campus Heroes because you got to go a scroll through a whole new filter. Okay. So a 68, that is about right for Vernon Davis. I'm thinking we could do with a 92, we could do at least 80. Now, this might be a super snipe, not even going to cap, because I think this car is still pushing hundreds, right? That was actually maybe a super snipe that may have been the snipe of the day, you feel me? <laughs> like, we hop on and get an absolute banger, you know what I'm saying? 139, 140, 150. For him to be 68K, sheesh, that might be a super banger. So I got to get more comfortable with these prices, so... I'm looking at 60s, right? I got to find 60s at 92. I think that's going to be my vibe because anything above that might not give me the profit that I want. And I might be able to overprice these cars too. It is Saturday. You know, promos is kind of active, but we still, I'm going to just play it safe and I'm going to look at car prices before I buy anything, unless it's just like a no brainer. This man, Vernon Damon, served at 189 21 minutes ago, 175, 152, 140, bro. Come on now. Put him at 155. That's a banger. 135. I like 70K. That's 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 discount for real. You know what I'm saying? That's super discount, right? Training is super cheap. I wonder if it's so cheap because of the campus hero players. So normally when that happens, I mean EA about to come out with something crazy. They about to come out with the absolute biggest promo, which is gonna be um obviously a, a playoff, right? Playoff promo. I'm interested to see. Because this is the first time me sniping with this crash a little bit, because this is this is definitely a nice little crash. I don't know what these cars are gonna actually sell for. Everything is not for sure. So like I know Vernon Davis is gonna sell for that price, like that 155 and stuff like that. Cause we already looked at his prices, right? But as far as some of these other cars that I normally snipe, I don't know what they're gonna sell for. So the question is, is we gonna be able to find like some super bangers or is it gonna just be like these nice little like five? 10k snipes so far we haven't found anything too crazy right i think adrian phillips is one of those cars who always hold, holds like a high value so maybe we could see like a 110 out of him i'm not too sure because from the looks of it it's this 90 right and we bought him you know the cheapest one to be 100k which is fine but this car has been up for a long time and hasn't sold and that's just me analyzing the market y'all could do the exact same thing because like i said i don't know the prices so we going through and we just trying to be smooth, trying to be smart. I don't know if we could put these 92s up for 90K, but I, what I do know is that these prices are going to increase. So Carlos Dunlap, no, I'm not even going to look at this car. He never really sells for prices that I want to sell for, so I'm not even going to go with that. But if I was to get that car and put them up for 99K, which I was thinking that like maybe I can go ahead and slide these up for like the 93s for like 99K and maybe make some shake. But I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna try and rock with that. You feel me? I'm just play it safe because like I said, I don't know what's going on with the market yet. Haven't been in tune with it enough to try to make those decisions to overprice cars. But if you guys have been in tune with it and you know these prices are gonna be pretty stiff at this, then cool. You feel me? Make some moves. Tap into the ebook, man. The ebook is going to teach you how I take this entire process. You listen to me talk and you understand this entire process if you go through the ebook and you read it, and you take the videos that I put in the ebook into action, you will take this same process and you'll be making
I got to get used to these low prices, bro, because I feel like seeing these, I'm like, bro, this is a banger, right? Because easily, these cars are like way more than that. So I'm like, yo, this is an absolute banger. But now that these cars have dropped in value, we're going to have to move up a filter now. We're going to have to get into a better filter. 80000 I don't know how long it's going to take him for, to sell. But like I said, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm going to play it smart. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's ugly. That's, I might take them just because you can. Oh, I might take them, bro. I'm going to go ahead and take them. I got a lot of coins. It's not like it's going to hurt for if, I, if I take them, you feel me? And it takes him a little bit to sell. I want to look at his prices and see what the last point he sold at. And this will kind of give me a good idea of what I need to find. Uh, I need to look for other snipes for, right? And the reason why it's going to give me that good idea is because if he's selling at like 76 a lot, then I know that I could find him at like 70. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if he's not selling at that price, then I know that that was a good buy. Because that means I could overprice him. His median price is 89, right? And we bought him at 80,000. He hasn't sold in the hundreds, which that's what I was hoping for. He sold in the hundreds six hours ago. I'm gonna go with 105. And y'all probably like, why are you overpricing him so much, right? I just have this feeling that the cars are gonna go right back up. Not as high as like back to where they were, but I think that they're gonna gain some a little bit of value, a little bit of momentum. 80,000 for a 93, I think we could take this, right? Like no brainer, we could take this. I know these are around this price. I know it, but I just have this feeling that I could at least make 10K off of this, right? Like, no way I can't make 10K off of this. It's just not going to sell right away, right at this moment, but they will sell. It's a legend for right now. Legends are going to be flooded out because of the packs, obviously, right? But if they go back up, look, bro, he sold at 103 six minutes ago, bro. He's selling at high prices. So I think I could 100% get this man out of here at that good price. You feel me? 93, 97. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm going to put him up at a 99. 77 to give me 3K. Can I go for an 80? Uh, 80K, it's only like 5K. I'm investing 62K to make 5K. If I was really trying to like get this number up to like super high so I could be like, oh, yeah, I made 100K in 20 minutes, I will buy that car. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it a stack. I want to have some all, I want to have some like real, real numbers for y'all. You feel me? I like to have real numbers. I don't like to juice the numbers with these little baby snipes, even though you should take the baby snipes. Not gonna lie to you. If you if you if you snipe in and you really trying to make some coins, take the baby snipes. They compound, they add up, you know what I'm saying? So take it. But for me, I don't like to juice the numbers. I like to give y'all some real good snipes every time I'm posting these videos. So like when I say like, oh, you can make 80K in 20 minutes, bro, that's under, you know what I'm saying? Like that's me saying that you could probably make 140K in 20 minutes. And I'm definitely taking this at 70,000. Come on, bro. Like there's a no brainer. You gotta take this one, bro. I just took an 80. You feel me? Like this is an easy, easy, easy. Put them up for 90K and I'm still making what? Uh, 11k on that you feel me like what's the cheapest one let's see let's see oh man 95 yeah that's an absolute banger we'll take that 100 percent. so you know what our numbers is looking good in this little scuffed market you feel me we looking real good in this scuffed market and i can't complain about it <laughs> i love it i just love it and i think sniping is still going to be the best way to make coins all the time bro people ask me all the time should i what filter should i snipe bro whatever filter you want to snipe snipe in bro all these filters are gonna make you some coins bro you just gotta find a filter figure it out and you know learn it like most people be like well how do i learn a filter bro buy and sell cards in that filter that's it buy and sell cards the only reason why i come back to this filter is because i know it i know how fast certain cars sell i know that if i buy this antoine winfield he comes out of the flashbacks which i mean who's doing flashbacks right now let's just be honest i mean some people might be doing flashbacks can't even lie but at the end of the day I know he's gonna sell quick and we're gonna get, i'm gonna give you numbers on it that's the fun part about it i bought him one minute ago for seventy thousand coins right Nine minutes ago, he sold for 92. If we sold him at 92K, we would make like what? It'd be like 11, 12K, bro. But I want to sell him for a lot higher than that. He's been selling at 80s. Dang, somebody got him for 41. I see some 90s. Maybe 92 is probably like the highest we'll get out of him. I seen an hour ago, he sold for 100K. And on the auction block right now, there's a 91. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him up for a 99. And then that's gonna put me at 100,000. We're gonna put him up for a smooth 100,000. And then we're going to get back 90K on that. That'd be a nice 20K profit. Talk to me or talk to me nice. Come on, bro. Easy, bro. That's easy, bro. And he's going to sell. He's going to sell. I'm not even stressing off of him. That's a, that's a little baby. That's a little baby. He's a little He's a little baby. You know what I'm saying? A little baby. 20K banger, you feel? Some of these cars do get flooded out. So it's just not even worth trying to snipe them. Like if a car is flooded out so many up on the auction block, you probably don't want to deal with it. And you got to understand in a market like this, you can't expect your cars to sell super fast, right? 
because it seems like this is more of a seller's market than it is a buyer's market. And the reason why I say that is because the training is like deteriorating right now. So that means that there's obviously more people selling cars than it is buying, right? So they're flooding out the prices because if the market was in a buyer's market, which means that the supply is going to be low right now, you got to be patient about your cards selling. You feel me? You just got to be patient because right now people are not looking to buy. They're looking to get rid of all of the cards for whatever reason, maybe because they're just instantly trying to do more and more and more uh, training rerolls. So with that being said, you just got to be careful with what you're you know, buying. Like even this one is, a, this could be a decent buy right here. Right? And I always like to explain to you guys why I say that these are good buys. So you can see that this car right here, he had a 66 up. Let's do the math on him really quick just so you guys can see. If we put him up for a 79, 79 is a very reasonable price for that car because it would only be a 70, uh, 75 in front of him. So 79 minus 7.9K would give you this, right? 7,100. And then you go ahead and subtract the 66, 750. I think that's how much he would cost. You make a cool little 4K, not nothing crazy. I probably would go ahead and put him up for like a cool little 80, 81. Just so I can go ahead and, and get over that. 6k mark because i always say you always want to make 10 percent of what you spend in right if you spend in a hundred thousand coins you should be trying to make about 10 now sometimes you can go you can get away with making eight i i, I get away with making anything if you spend 100k i get away with making seven seven bro but if i'm gonna spend 60 i honestly try like oh this 85 right here hold on let me go look at this man basically i'm if i'm gonna spend 60 i want to make at least 6k i'm gonna take the risk bro because this car was hard for me to find when I wanted to put him on my team. So I'm going to take the risk. And, and, and once again, that's from me knowing the filter. That's the only reason why I'm buying this car. Because he was hard for me to find when I wanted him on my team. So now somebody put him up for 85K. And the cheapest one is 115K. Which means if I go 110K, I make a slight little 14K profit on that. And the demand for that car will be high because I will have the cheapest car on the block. So that's kind of like the su supply and the demand thing. Somebody did buy him for 100K a minute ago. So that means if they bought him for 100K, his medium price is 100K. So that's a good thing. We're going to go 110. You feel me? I honestly do enjoy sniping so much, bro. Because it's just like you just flipping through cars, bro. You're taking these cars that people are like, ah, I'm going to go ahead and get this quick sale real quick. And I'm like, ah, I'm going to go ahead and get these coins real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel about sniping. It's like you're taking somebody else's trash and you turn it into your own treasure. You feel me? Because once all of these cars sell, we up. If we buy this and we put them up for like a 99, it might take a little bit to sell, but it's just not the good, it's not good enough margins. Maybe we see them at 80K. We're gonna go ahead, look, somebody put them up for 103. Look, look, I'm telling you, bro. And look, this is what's gonna happen, right? I'm not worried about nobody putting him up for, reason why I put him up for 110, it wasn't about the profit. It was about the 118 was the cheapest car. I could have put him up for 99K and made profit. Maybe, maybe not 99K. I could, I could have put him up for 100K and made profit, right? But then this guy would have came underneath me and put his card up for like 92K. Then that would have depreciated the value of the card and then my card wouldn't have never sold. But see, I put him up at 110, somebody come back, buy this 103, his price increases. Because now his medium is 100K. But since somebody bought him above his medium, his median goes up. So now somebody gonna look at it and be like, okay, his median is 101. 110 is not that bad for me to buy this car. Boom. That's how you sell your cars, bro. Don't undercut yourself. You might think you undercutting the market, but you undercutting yourself, bro. Trust, bro. I've been doing this for too long, bro. Just trust, right? Here's the rough estimates. We got him at 80K. We get back 95 on that one. So that'd be cool little 15K right there. Boom. I love it. We got uh, 80K here. So after taxes, we make a cool little 10 on that. It'll be like nine. So we'll go ahead and be honest. And I'll say it's like nine right there, right? So cool. 24K right here. Mm, mm, mm. This is a banger right here. Easy 20. <laughs> Easy 20 right there. Pfft. You got to love it, right? Adrian Phillips, we sold him. We got him at 86K. So we'll get back about 99. So it'll be like cool little like 13K. Boom. You feel me? Look at that. 57K in 20 minutes, bro. Stop it, bro. But then we're going to go ahead and add VD, right? We're going to add VD. We 75K on VD. Plus that, we made 132K, bro. We made 132K in 20 minutes. Tap into the ebook, man. The ebook is going to teach you how I take this entire process. You listen to me talk and you understand this entire process if you go through the ebook and you read it and you take the videos that I put in the ebook into action, you will take this same process and you'll be making 132K in 20 minutes. Let me just tell you this, right? If we kept this up, I'm, I'm going to subtract VD. I'm going to subtract VD because that's not realistic. Feel me? We're going to subtract it. So we're going to take 57K, right? We multiply that by three. 172K, right? If you could do 172K in an hour, in an hour, bro, you're going absolutely nuts. So this is how it works, right? You guys buy the ebook. 
take the information. You could take this information straight to the market and go make coins. Once you make your coins, bro, you can literally go make a million coins, sell your coins to the coin sponsorship, right? You could pay for the ebook. So then if you feel like, bro, I don't want to spend the money on the ebook. Cool. I'm telling you that the information in the ebook will allow you to make a million coins. Once you make the million coins, sell the coins to the sponsorship, right? Go pay for the ebook. Now you just gained a bunch of knowledge for free. And we supported each other. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I got nothing else to say, bro. Nothing else to say, bro. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.